All right, for this one, we are starting from the very back of the grid because there were two races in a row. And during the first race, I was on for a fourth or fifth place, I think, which would have been a pretty decent result for me. And then on the very last lap, my connection to the server dropped out for a second and that basically disqualified me, which meant that for the second race, we start from the back. Now that does make for quite an interesting race. There's plenty of action in this one. But before we get to the race, this was filmed on Halloween and I told chat that I had something spooky to show them, but um, it's, it's not spooky, it's just weird. I was just curious how they would react to it and uh, it, it was pretty much exactly what I expected. So we'll see how you guys react in the comments. But yeah, there's a couple of minutes of just weirdness at the start and then we'll get into the race, which like I say, is a fairly interesting one. But yeah, enjoy. This is a kiwi fruit, okay? Everyone know what kiwi fruit is? I've washed it, hence it being wet. Wait, we should maybe make this. Maybe that's a bit bigger. Can you see my balls? Can you see my hairy balls? There you go. Kiwi fruit, right? I don't know how everyone else eats a kiwi fruit, but that's how I eat a kiwi fruit. And people think that's weird. Because, like, the skin's the best bit. I'm not doing that, I can. Dude, I bet the sound was horrific through the microphone. <laughs> everyone just, nah, what the fuck? It's getting messy. Yeah, with the skin. The skin is honestly the best bit. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> Dude, it was far juicier than I expected. I haven't eaten a kiwi for a long time. Mmm, do the weird eye cam thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This thing makes it look like I'm looking at the camera. So right now, I'm not looking at the camera. Like, if I turn it off, this is where my eyes are actually looking, okay? But if I turn it back on, it makes it look like I'm looking at the camera, even when I turn my head. Okay, so again, I'm not looking at the camera at all right now in real life, but to you guys, it looks like I am. So we wanted to see how creepy it would be if I'd ate my hairy balls whilst it pretends I'm looking at the camera. Wait, I should move this off the screen, otherwise there's going to be two of me. You don't need to see two of me in my hairy balls. Is that good? Is it good? Hmm. Hmm. It's really creepy. <laughs> My chaga. Mmm. The side eye. <laughs> the problem is though, now we've compromised the structural integrity. Now it just kind of wiggles. Yeah. So it's not quite as good as an apple for this. Hey, I'm glad some people have got an open mind. Oh, I hit the microphone. Oh. oh. I'm glad people have got an open mind. Obviously, you've got to wash it first. Which is... Right, right. Everyone who says... Oh, let's turn the eye contact thing off. It's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> I've got... I've got kiwi stuck in my teeth as well now. I've got kiwi pubes stuck in my teeth. Why, then, does it say on the packet, wash before eating? If you're not going to eat the skin, the skin's the only thing you can wash. So why would it say that? Huh? You ain't washing the inside, are you? It does have a weird texture. But that, honestly, it really complements how mushy the inside is. Hef tried it. This is when she was watching the, the stream in the supermarket while she was shopping. She tried it. She, she was on board. She was like, you know what? This is actually quite good. To get the E. coli off before you eat it. But you only wash the skin. You wash the E. coli off the skin, fine. But if you're not going to eat the skin, why would it, why would it matter? <laughs> to come big water, trying to make you use more water. No, it's not because you touch it with your hands. No, because then it would say wash your hands after preparation or whatever, wouldn't it? Meat, like when you buy chicken, it doesn't say wash the chicken, does it? It says make sure you wash your hands after touching raw meat. It would say wash your hands after touching the kiwi fruit. Right, let me go dispose of the kiwi. Because, I mean, I'm not a monster. I'm not going to eat the... I'm not going to eat the butthole bit, you know? I'll look at that. No one wants to eat that bit. Are you trying it right now, Breton? Is Breton giving us a live review? Breton, write down your thoughts while I go dispose of this. Write down, your, tell the class what you think. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry I was gone for a while. I had to throw up because I just ate that kiwi skin. Obviously, you don't actually eat the kiwi skins. Who would do that? That was just a prank. I hope Breton didn't actually eat it, did he? You can't eat kiwi skins, Breton. You better go be sick as well. Like... So that's like the, the ritual. You eat the skin and then you... It was just it was just a Halloween prank. I hope you didn't actually eat it. 
I'm joking. I'm joking. It's fine. Green light. Go, go, go. Okay, well, we've made up. <laughs> He's dead already. We've made up a place already. Oh, you're doing that. Okay. You're stopping. Okay. There's, you got to be careful around the back of the grid because you never know what's going to happen. Luke got hit in the same way that I did last time, I think. But guaranteed somebody will crash at this corner because this corner's fucking horrible. Car on the right. Yep, there was a bit of a shunt there on our right. Clear on the right. I don't know if I can see me or not. There's some Car more death. The right. There's some more Clear death, the right. yeah. Dude, the back of the grid's always entertaining. I should start from last more often. It's quite fun. There's Luke up ahead of us in the McLaren. He's a lot faster than me though, so. Clear on the right. Bit sketchy on cold tires. But yeah, this is um oh, someone's off. This is way more fun at the back. Just stuff happening, you know? The trouble is you're only a second away from dying at the back. Like someone can just do something weird and you get killed. Like it's fun. But it, it can just be you race over in the first 30 seconds without warning. Like here, this is going to get sketchy. I'm going to have a bit of an early lift and break here. Yeah, someone's off track over there. Like we could have dive bombed a couple of these guys because I'm confident I can outbreak them, but it's just not worth the risk of them not seeing us or them having to break early for someone else up ahead. Here we could maybe, yeah. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Go for it. But, yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. <laughs> I feel like he only just saw us at the last second there. Eyes were both up. He's been good, he's been good. Car on the right. Now he's kind of fucked himself. Clear on the right. Oh, I'm trying to leave your room. I'm trying to leave your room. Car that car's horrible. Right. Side by side, man. Clear on the right. Okay. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat, but we've got, we've got to concentrate for these first few laps back here. Because it is hectic. Dodging bullets. Why Why do you expect big, hot, oily men? I still don't understand where that came from. Someone's going to die here, aren't they? Like, just, just guaranteed. This Porsche. It was this Porsche. Okay. I had my money on the Bentley, I'll be honest, but it was the Porsche. Surprised me. Can we dive on this guy at T1? That's going to be the question. Oh, they've just killed each other as well. They're going to rejoin into him? No? This guy's going to pretend I don't exist? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's so weird fighting people that like, you're not sure of how clean they're going to be, because it's like, how much room do I leave? Can I go for a move that I should be able to go for, but I don't know if he's going to even see me? He's... It's interesting. There's a dead man here. Oh, okay, yeah, well, that guy just smashed into me. Cool. <laughs> like I said, you don't know what people are going to do. As Roland was parked there as well. I was just getting ready to avoid Roland, and that guy just touched my buoy. How much damage did that give us? Ooh. Not much, actually. Six seconds. That's not a lot. Stop overtaking people, sorry. I mean, well, there you go. <laughs> That one did. Oh, they're just having a car meet off track. Okay. Dude, this is bad at the back, isn't it? This is bad. I'm gonna work out like what this damage is actually doing to the car. It seems to just pull to the left or right a little bit on braking. Other than that, it feels pretty normal. Fiddled with ourselves, yeah. You don't love a good self fiddle. I think we spooked this guy. Yeah, spooked him. That is one nice thing about racing less experienced people is that every time you look up the inside they think you're going to send it because a lot of the other people that they're used to racing do I mean people just send it in stupid ways all the time the Thank you. The um, so every time you kind of pull out to the inside oh don't do that I thought he was going to fucking try and torpedo me in the apex um, yeah every time you pull like out to the inside they just assume a massive dive bomb's coming because a lot of the guys at the back of the grid do that so you can kind of do that just to spook them offline which doesn't work at all with the guys at the front. All it does is just fuck you when you do it at the front. You pull out and then you're on a shit line and they just ignore you. I think he just rear ends him here. Thought about it. Thought about it. 
Ooh, I had to slap the brakes there. Slap. I was meant to say tap. I was torn between saying slam or tap. <laughs> I went for slap. Hello, Bentley man. Please let me past nicely. I think he dive bombs me on this next corner. Yellow flag, you say? Who dis? Who dis? Why are you in the gravel, sir? Do you think this guy dies again? This is the guy that died in this corner. To be fair, it was when he was right behind someone, so... He might not normally be sketchy in this corner. Don't bin it. I haven't binned it. Other people have binned me. I... Oh, God, what's happening? Okay, well, we'll just uh, take you in. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna be weird, we'll just go past. Thanks. But yeah, I mean, this is such a fucking ego stroke, though. Starting from the back. I can see why all the fast guys love starting from the back. Because you get to just overtake people. Like, overtaking is such a rare thing in GT3. Or, like, ACC lobbies, I guess, at the, the front. Not that, again, not that I'm ever at the front, but, like... Even mid-pack. Overtaking is so fucking rare, because... You just rely on other people making mistakes, and they don't that much. Like, actually setting up an overtake on your own is so fucking tricky in GT3 cars when people are all the same sort of pace around you. We've got Alan up ahead. I won't punt Alan. <laughs> I won't punt Alan. Alan... Alan? Alan will probably just move out of the way. <laughs> Alan doesn't like to fight people, which is a shame, because he should. Dude, that race we did the other day, last week on stream, in the Porsche Cups at Brands Hatch, was so hard to keep track of what was going on in chat. Like, I've never had to concentrate so much in my life and try and read. Like, Brands Hatch is a hard track anyway, and then Porsche Cups are hard, and then reading chat whilst driving is hard, and you combine all three things. See, I told you Alan would just move out of the way. <laughs> I mean, just does not like to put up a fight. Which is nice sometimes, but, like, he, he should. He's not a slow driver. He used to be, but he's not anymore. But he's still in that mindset of like, oh, I just get in everyone's way, I'm just slow. And it's like, no, you're a good enough racer. Like, he's in, what, 14th there? He's not at the back of the pack anymore. But yeah, we're not going to get anyone else up ahead, so we'll just overtake Mr. Lightning McQueen. And then that will be it for our last to 11th challenge, I guess. Tidy. Don't overtake. Oh, did you bet on 12th, Smithy? I mean, we're not that much faster than him, so it's not a guaranteed overtake, to be fair, but... Especially now the tyres are going off. It's definitely not a guaranteed overtake. Ka-chow. Dude, I actually haven't seen the Cars movie. Everyone always says this Ka-chow thing, and I'm just like, ha, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I assume it's a, a thing someone says in the film, but... Got a little wiggle on there, Mr. Ka-chow. We'll just call him Mr. Kachow from now on. Is he the guy that says it? Ikex? Ikex isn't in the Cars movie. He's too busy naming corners at spot. Oh, there's Nitro up ahead. Maybe we will. Nah. Another lap, we might get both of them, but I think we're only just going to get this guy at this point. Ooh, if I don't make any silly mistakes, anyway, we might. Yeah, the tires are getting so fucking slippy, man. We might not even get this guy. I was all confident earlier that we would. No, I don't know. In fact, I think he's got considerably faster. Oh, why did I follow him out there? How is that not a track cut for both of us? It normally gives you one there. Yeah, it's a shame we're not both closer to Nitro, because we could, um, could do something there. But we can't. We get this guy, at least. Car on the left. Oh, we both die in the fast section. I don't know which is going to happen, but... Because this is just horrible next to someone. Well, he's quite a lot faster on the straights, so... Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? on the inside, I'll say that. But he was very good. He was very fair. He could have hung it around the outside and made that horrible for us. I'd have probably just killed him, I'll be honest. Because I don't know how to take that corner on the inside with somebody on your outside. 
Just think, if we didn't get taken out, we would definitely be top 10. Because even with getting spun around and stationary for a while, we ended up just behind 10th place. Balage won the race, though. Good job, Balage. Well, was Hef the one that died right at the start, then? Because somebody got fucked before we even made it to the first corner. Is that you, Hef? No, that's not. I want to see that, though. I want to see how that happened, because that's... That's horrific. Like, <laughs> crashing before the first corner is always pretty spectacular. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, they both just swing into each other. What the fuck? I think they both just decide they're going to swing around someone. To be fair, yeah, he's real close to this guy. Oh, imagine your race ending that quickly. <laughs> like, fucking hell. <laughs> like, that's got to be the quickest... <laughs> the quickest game over you ever saw. Like, from the time the lights go green, the lights have gone green. He's dead, like, within... I mean, his network connection looks terrible. Just... just gone. <laughs> just an angry rag of the thrall. <laughs> oh, that was you here, Hef. Yeah, I was really worried that you hadn't seen me at this point. Oh, they... oh! <laughs> I mean, that's... how am I getting the blame for this? FACC name is S. Martin. I mean, you can see it on the screen, you blind fuck. Um, how am I getting the blame for this? I'm, like, innocently alongside this, just not even getting involved. Is the cream motherfucker up here? There's cream Ferrari. Well, I guess it's the Aston. I don't know. It's oh, they all died because of that one incident. <laughs> Fucking hell. My blind ass head. Oh, am I covering the thing? Oh, yeah, I'm covering the thing. Where do you want, where do you want me? Come up here. Can I spin this around? Can you spin this? I'm upside down! Oh, there you go. Alright, is that better? There you go. There you go. Now, no complaining that my bald head is in the way of anything, okay? Oh, yeah, because I remember he fucking swung... Oh, they have a little touchy-touch. And I'm on his left here. You can't see me yet, but... Dude, he was so close to fucking hitting me. He seemed to not know I was there. I guess he's just focusing on the guy ahead. Dude, that was close. I I backed off. Like, what's going on here? What is going on? And then I think he punts me into the next corner. Do I follow F1? Um, I watch it. I watch, like, the highlights every week. But I wouldn't say I'm, like, super into it. How does he punt me here? Just misses the braking marker. Oh, uh, maybe... I mean, I might have slowed down more than normal for Roland. <laughs> Someone had to just park in front of Roland. <laughs> what even happened to Roland, actually? How does Roland end up there? Did someone go into the back of him? Was it Mike? He might do a smash. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. This is why we don't belong up here, Mike. I said at the start of the race, me and you are not podium guys. We're midfield guys, but then for some reason we're good at this track. Well, because of this car, I guess. I get smushed. And then <laughs> this, this guy's doing a three-point turn to get around Roll. Oh, Roland literally ends up pretty much last. I would say he's a little late on the brakes. Not much, though. Right, so that this right here is like the first second I break. And I think I'm breaking a tiny bit early, maybe. You can break a little late, though. But yeah, I think... So I'm, I start braking as soon as the front of my car is kind of level with that. See where he'd be braking. Okay, yeah, he's... Okay. Okay, yeah, he's, he's a bit late. He's a bit late on the brakes. He's a bit late. You can't, you can't start braking here. <laughs> you can't start braking here for this corner, especially with a car right in front of you. Okay. Oh, I'm still upside down. <laughs> Kat, do you want to be upside down? She says not. She says not. Hi, Kat. Hey. Give me some skin. There we go. There we go. Should we try and pick you up? You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it, are you? Oh, we don't like it at all. What's this? What's this? No? No? We're gone. She doesn't like being picked up.